Hi, I'm Simbi Yao. I'm an illustrator. I graduated from University of Lincoln. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to draw objects. <laughs> so uh, now I'm going to show you how to draw hearts with wings. And I'm going to start off by drawing just a simple heart in the middle. Again, I'm just using pencil and draw lightly a heart in the centre. If you want to draw, you find it quite difficult to draw a heart, you could, you know, draw a line in the centre to try and make it symmetrical. Symmetrical. So, you know, you can just play around with the lines if you're not feeling quite confident. Um, but this is just a simple heart. You know, there can be tall hearts, fat hearts, but this is just a, a basic heart. So I'm going to attach the wing to the heart. Um, I'm going to draw the arm of the wing and you can just angle it slightly and then make it straight like this. And I mean, if you would like, you know, you could just um, make a, just pretend that this is a, you know, a mirror and you just try to mirror the same wing on the other side. Um, I'm going to be drawing the wing in three sections. And um, on the base of the arm of the wing, I will be drawing these uh, smaller feathers and their semicircle shapes. And I'll be drawing them between each other as well. I will make a rough guideline of the second shape of where the second set of feathers would lie. With these wings, um, you can make any shape you like, depending on how you want them to look. But generally, I would, do, I would personally do them like this and make a small point at the end of each feather and narrow them down towards the base of the arm. I'm just drawing this very uh, roughly with pencil at the moment so you can finalise this drawing with pen on a later stage. I will be drawing the third section of the wing and these feathers will be considerably longer than the second set of wing, um, feathers. And again, I will be making a point at each feather and then curving them down, like so. And, you know, if you want to just make yourself a little rough guideline, I, I'll probably just draw them like this, this shape. And uh, add to it. You can make them longer towards here, if you want. And then shorter towards the base, like so. Um, so now I'll, I'll be using um, black pen to finalise the drawings. At the moment, this is just a rough guideline to how you want to shape your wing. Um, you know, you can completely alter it. Um, but I will be drawing them a little bit differently with pen, as I will, as I will demonstrate um, later. So. At the base of the um, wing, I will draw it with a thick pen. And then add to the detail. Generally, I'm going to be showing you how to um, make it easier for you to make um, this drawing completely symmetrical by drawing, um, just using layout paper or tracing paper so you can draw it on the other side and make it symmetrical. So that that this section would be the third it would be the first section of the wing and this would be the second. For the third part of the wing I'll be drawing them a little bit differently. Um, I will use a thick pen to draw the base of the feathers. I'm going to be drawing this in a little bit more detail. I'm going to be using these lines as a guideline for 
for the feathers. And using a smaller pen, a smaller, a thinner pen, and uh, start creating these feathers. This takes a little bit more time. Okay. Um, how I see this is um, creating this feather in sections, and I'm making a kind of a leaf shape, and then filling them with lines to complete the texture of a feather. So if I do several of these, this is how I personally draw feathers, as if you're like drawing a, some leaves on, on a branch. And then you just fluidly add to it in between, and it can look quite effective. Okay, so now I have finished with the wing. To finish off, I'll just complete the heart. Just using the pencil line underneath, like this. So uh, this is uh, the first half of the drawing. What I would do to make the second half use layout paper or tracing paper and draw in pencil a rough guideline of how it would lay on the other side. So this is a heart with wings.